Okay, we're ready to start up our VF2 and our ACE mat here. Uh, we'll power up in the back wall and back cabinet. Okay. Next, we'll power up. Uh, green button, power on. Sometimes there's a helper screen on that. Just gotta have a little patience. But uh, I'd also review to make sure nobody left any vice handles in there or something that's gonna get stuck. If you're wandering up to a machine that other people have been running, or maybe it's been a long weekend and it's Monday and you forgot where you're at. And another thing is we, we like to utilize leaving notes up here, you know, for each other or where you left off. Okay, so now finish the power up. Pop that off. Now hit the reset button. Now clear that code. Now we need to home the machine with the power up restart button. Blue button right next to reset. All right, you notice the Z axis moves up first, then X and Y, and also A axis will also home because we're running four axes now. Okay, now uh, next thing we'll do is turn the light on. Give me light. So now we're ready to do our work for the day or do a setup or something like that. And that's pretty much all it is to start up the machine. So this is our home position right here, about this coordinate. Somebody told me a long time ago to think of yourself as a spindle when you're thinking about movement. Don't think about the table movement. Imagine the spindle is moving in this direction. This will be X negative direction. This will be Y negative direction. So this is your home position. So if we go to the page of all positions right here. This is our machine coordinate right now. So right now is almost at home. If I hit this button, now we are at all home positions right now. So this is the home position for Z, X, Y, and A, which is a rotary axis. Everything would be based off of that. We're in rapid right now, so if I'm going to do setup mode, first thing I'm going to do is put in 25%, because I'm going to be setting up and I don't want to have anything catch me by surprise. And now I'm going to get my coordinates either using old school methods of the probe. We have a nice probing system in here, so we can use the probe. Let's just do a quick probe of the block on the left. We're going to utilize uh, X, Y, center, and top. So let's go to MDI mode and hit the program button and go all the way down to the VQC. Hit enter. Okay, we need to load the template for the wireless probe. It's never in there until you power it up. So hit F2. And it says wireless probe, so hit enter. Okay, there's our probing system. Now let's enter one through nine to see if we get something in there we can use. These are all our simple probing systems. This one, remember this is from the top, so this is, it also has a description here. This is probing a bore or a hole. Next one, this is X from the left. Next one's X from the right. Down here is Y from the front and Y from the back, and Z from the top. We're actually gonna use one of these down here. This will be probing a vice corner. This will be doing center of block, start from center, and this one is, next one is start center, but start from corner. So we're gonna use this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna ask you a couple of questions and just kind of take all this and at the end, you have the handle to win in, uh, I like to say three-eighths of an inch because we're, we're, we're not metric all the time. So uh, this is where we need to put the probe on top of the part. So if you're looking on top of the part, we also have to know how wide the stock is and how long it is. So first thing is, which offset are we using? And in this case, we're going to use the most common one, which is 54, and we don't need the G. So just type in 54. Okay. And we looked up on our setup sheet, uh, the width 
by the length in my case of the stock was 3.12 that's where we cut them off on the saw okay and to that one and the width of the stock was one by two bar so it's two inches wide and that'd be two point and then we depth is going to be how far do you want the probe to go down so you want to go far enough so the big fat part of the, of the probe ball hits but not too deep where it goes and hits something you don't want to hit so let's let's go half of an inch because it's one inch tall half an inch would probably be adequate and Believe it or not, you actually have to pick direction. I actually did that once and I found it went up. So I learned the hard way. Let's actually try that. So hinge jog, extra large or large, and pick a direction X. All right, crank that over to the vise on the left. And also we're gonna have to call up the probe. Okay, let's call up the probe. Let's do it with the Haas quick way, do MDI, call up tool 20, and hit the ATC button. All right. Okay, probe's in place. So now we just need to get that probe over the center of the part. And you could do this with the doors open if you need a better look. Yeah, so you want to get it over the center of this. Yeah. And we want to be about three eighths tall, so we can want to bring it down some more. And then, yeah, that's a good method to use. Instead of using this to crank, we converted to using the big knurled part. Right. Need to get it more center? Yep, or? definitely more center. Visually centered, you can get it, but this is just approximate. Keep on going. And that spacing right here is what they were asking us for, that 10 millimeters of space. All right, now we need to shut the door because we're going to run the program. All right. We didn't do one other thing when we were in this program here. We didn't write the program to this side. So let's redo that again. Hit program. Enter one through nine, go down to the bottom row again, hit enter, and we're using offset 54, and 3.12 on length, and 2.0 on width, and let's try that a positive number. We're just gonna see what happens. Put in 0.5, and hit enter. So now you need to write the program in MDI. So I'll put the MDI, hit enter, there's your program, activate MDI, and now you're ready to run the cycle. All right. Ah, went up in the air. And we got a pro fail alarm, which it doesn't exactly tell you that what exactly went wrong, but I guess we need a negative number. So let's go back to MDI again. Notice we have to clear the alarm, so hit reset. Okay. Uh, enter the program world, and one through nine, and go back to that and rewrite that one again. All right, so we're on 54. Yep. 3.12. Enter that. Two inches wide, and this will be a negative 5.5. And write that to MDI. There you go, activate MDI, you're in the right place, ready to run. Okay. Finds the top. You notice it actually reshifts at the end, it actually found its new X center and, and reorients. We actually find it very useful for doing the A axis. So there's all your coordinates. Go to the offset page and activate the work offsets. So now you've got your X, Y, and Z, and we're not using A axis, so that remains at zero. So that's all set up to run that uh, manufacturing day part we were running the other day. So thank you very much.